So you want to create a fast website that gets around 100 on Google PageSpeed Insights, but you want to avoid building a website with something like WordPress, either because the plugins or themes are too expensive, you have recurring fees to pay up, or just due to the bloat that comes with using a lot of plugins, then instead of using a builder, you can opt for a static site generator like Hugo, where you can get both the speed of a static site, the security, and also the ease of use that you might see on other CMS software like WordPress. In this video, we will take a look at eight of the best Hugo themes for creating a blog or portfolio website. So instead of starting from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, you can use a theme and then customize the elements like logos, images, colors and so on to match your brand or business. So let's take a look at those themes. So if you don't know what Hugo is, it is a static site generator based on the Go programming language. It is great for building complex content sites due to its fast compiling speeds. If you are putting together a markdown file, once you start building your site, it will convert that file into code in just a few seconds. This static site generator is very flexible and it's also completely free and open source, which means you can implement a lot of features without the monthly subscriptions that come with other site builders where you need to pay for apps or extra plugins to enable certain functionality. The first theme on the list is Menke, which is a modern personal blog theme for Hugo, and it's also currently the theme that I am using on my own blog and website. This theme allows you to easily add your YouTube embed links into your posts, and the posts that have a YouTube video will show an animated play button on top of the post's image. The home page follows a typical blog layout with an email subscription form at the top, followed by a preview of your last blog post and then has a footer with some of your social media links, an image and a gallery. This theme has a toggle so that you can switch between dark mode and light mode. If you want to take a look at this theme, you can check it out on Envod Studio or Team Forest, where you can buy it for $49. And you can also check my own blog to see if you like the theme. But in that case, I have already applied my own customizations, such as the color, logo, and so on. So if you are a YouTube content creator, Menka is probably a good fit for you. If you like the modern look of the previous theme, but you want to build a portfolio site instead of a blog, then you can consider using Hilton, which is still optimized for speed and mobile devices. However, it focuses on showing off your projects and client testimonials to the website visitors. It still has the dark mode toggle, and instead of having the navigation links at the right or left, it instead uses a centered navigation bar on the header. It also includes font awesome icons, social sharing buttons, and the scroll to top feature. You can also buy this theme for $49 on Theme Forest. So if you want to check out any of the themes that I'm talking about, whether they are free or paid, you will have the links down in the description for both Theme Forest and free themes available through the Hugo site and GitHub as well. The next theme is called Priam. This is a portfolio theme for professionals who want to show their skills and accomplishments. It is very similar in design to Notion, a popular productivity tool, due to its clean design and also because it is very easy to navigate through sections. Everything has its own place with separate sections for your portfolio, videos, gallery, and also your blog posts. In this case, there's no manual button to activate the dark mode. It uses automatic dark mode based on your browser or 
operating system settings. This team also has very good performance, fast loading and also follows SEO best practices. It also has an easy integration with analytics and video platforms. Especially when considering that this has two separate sections for videos and blog posts, that means that you can embed your videos on your blog posts where the primary content is the text itself, but you can also create pages where the video is the main content, which can help you rank higher on Google search while looking for tutorials or videos. You can also get this theme for $49 on Theme Forest, and the developer is the same one for the previous two themes. The next theme is called Blowfish. This is a powerful and lightweight theme built with Tailwind CSS and it's mainly for blogs. The theme includes multiple home page layouts, even including animated backgrounds. It also has a built-in table of contents, so if someone is reading an article, the table will appear at the right side so that they can jump between different topics and those topics would be the titles that are spread throughout your article. But if the viewers don't like to read that way, they can also activate the Zen mode, which hides the table of contents, increases the size of the text and makes it so that it is centered for a distraction-free reading experience. It also includes other features that other blogs use to keep it fast, like lazy loading images, and also has a lot of short codes that are already built in to make it easier for you to create content that's more rich without just plain text. So you have carousel images, charts, diagrams, and even mathematical expressions. They also have social sharing buttons and syntax highlighting as well. Now I'm going to cover a couple of free themes and this one is called Clarity. This is a versatile theme based on VMware's Clarity design system and it is the perfect option for technical blogs. Its design reminds me of a tech website called Guru3D that I often read to keep up with new tech developments. There's a left sidebar which has a couple of categories tags and also recent posts and this theme also has a built-in search function and another function to share links so when viewers are reading a blog post they can share the link after they finish the article. This is a free theme that you can get from themes.goyugo.io and the following themes will also be available through the same link. If you want the bare minimum no clutter and prefer a minimal design, then you should try a theme like Paper, which is a minimalist blog theme for Hugo. If you check out the home page, it comes with some social media links at the top, an outer bio and a list of blog posts. But you can also take a look at other themes like Paper Mod, Anubis 2 and Typo. Next we have Paid Theme. This is a minimalist theme for bloggers built with Tailwind CSS. However, it's not as minimal as Paper because in this case you still have the option to use featured post images that are displayed on the home page. There are some horizontal menus and also tag lists and you have a sidebar that you can use to even place some banner ads if you want to use that on your website to redirect users to an affiliate product, your own products, or just monetize your website with something like Google Ads. It also has integration with Discuss, which makes it easier to use a comment section on your website, and it also includes an email subscription form. Another theme that's similar in design is called Quint, which supports automatic dark mode and is also very fast. Hextra is a modern, responsive theme designed for creating fast and lightweight static websites and it's built with Tailwind CSS 
it's also a great choice for blogs or documentation websites. Hextra has built-in full text search, which is powered by Flex Search, automatic table of contents and pagination. It also includes syntax highlighting and latex matte support, which will be useful if you use equations or expressions, and it also has multilingual support which is another feature that will be very useful for a documentation website. Installing a Yugo team is very easy. You simply download the team from the GitHub page or other website. You add it to your project and modify the files as needed. Most themes come with the documentation that will help you customize the existing elements. So even if you don't know a lot of code, you can still customize your site and get it up and running. However, if you want to implement more advanced changes and features that don't natively ship with your team file, then you might need to learn yourself a bit of code or hire someone else to help you out. That being said, posting will still be very easy after the initial site setup as you don't need any code. You only need to write in Markdown. So if you are already used to writing or taking notes on an application like Obsidian or Notion, it will be very easy for you to add tables, formulas, code blocks and more. So there you have it. Those were my top picks for Yugo Teams to build your blog or portfolio website. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more. Also, let me know in the comment section down below which of those themes is your favorite. And if you want to check out some other themes for Yugo, you can also click on the links down in the description. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.